you are welcome to my channel mindset academy where we are told to reproduce the views that is located at the right hand side of the screen we should transform this orthographic projection into isometric right now we are giving two views in third angle projection the first one the one on top is the plan while the one below is what the front elevation now since we are moving into isometric projection the first thing you have to draw is your isometric axis right that means you're going to be using your c square your 60 degree and 30 degree c square so you place c square in this manner right so you place it in this manner and you're going to draw the first inclined line this way you're going to draw the first inclined line this way right and you draw the second inclined line this way you can see that now the next thing is you now draw the third one that will be the vertical one representing the plant so this is your three axes right and the three axes are inclined at an angle of what 30 degree to the horizontal so let me call that point point a as situated on the diagram here as you can see point a now the first thing i'll do is to get the entire length so we know that the length is always on the what on the front elevation and this is the front end we can get the length from the elevation so from here to here should be our length right as um before it should be our length so we'll measure the length is that the key and um, the length will be from here to here is the same thing as saying from here to here which is what 126 so i'm going to measure 126 from this point a here as shown in the diagram here so i'm going to measure 126 from this point so from here to here this is from 0 to 12 is 120 so in, be in between 12 and 13 is 125 then this is 126 so this is what we have here 126 then the width from the plan here is like the height in the plan right so from here point a to this point here is given as 150 right so from here i'll measure 150 so this will be my 150 from this point so i'm going to start from zero right from zero or better still i'll start from one here so the one i'm starting from here will be my zero so look at what i want to do from here this is zero 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150. This is my 150, 0.150 here. So you move from 0 to 15 is 150. Now you're going to project this point up. You project this point up in this manner, this way. And you project this point up here in this way with the help of what? Your C square. You can see that? Now the next thing is, is the height. You get the height from the elevation and this is the elevation here. So it will be 40 plus what? Plus 20. That is what? 60. Plus extra 5 here you can see. So the entire height is 75 from point A here to this point is 75. So I'm going to measure 75 from here. This is my point A. And I'll measure 75. So I'll start from 0. The height is 75. From 0, this is 7, T is 75 here. Alright? So I'm going to use my C square and close it up. So when I place it this way, what I use to get this here, I'll move it to this point to get this also faint line. Similarly, I'll turn it this way around too. What I use to get this inclined line here, I'll move it to get this point here too. This is what we have here right similarly what i used to get here i'll place it here too to close here up from this point you can see that so let me bring that down a little bit so we can have a view of it 
right so i'm going to close it up i'm going to close it up from here close it up here i see that so let me bring it down so we successfully brought out this ship that we did we brought it out now the next thing is we start to ticking now from point a to this point here is ticking which is from here to here so i am going to ticking it so let's start i'm ticking here can you see that similarly from this point a here from this point here which is this point here it to somewhere around here is what is 40 so from here to here is 40 so from here to somewhere around here is what 40 so i'll measure the 40 0 to 4 so i'll start from 1 so that one will be my 0 so this is 0 10 20 30 40 so this is my point 40 here can you see that so i'll just draw my horizontal line this way faint line first So I'm going to tick in from here to this point. Also tick in from here to this point. You can see that? Now the next thing is uh, we are given that from this point to this point is 90. Right? From this point to this point is what is 90 out together so and the 90 is placed 20 millimeter up so i'm going to measure another 20 millimeter up from 0.40 here i'll measure 20 millimeter so i'll take my um instrument i'll measure 20 from here this is zero and this 20 right and i'm going to close it up So it's on this line you're seeing that I'm going to measure 90. But before I can measure the 90, you can realize that the 90 you're seeing is centralized, right? So I need to get a half of 126. And that will give us what? 63, right? So I'll measure 63 from the beginning here. Just to get the half of that line. So this is 63, this is 0, 60. 61, 63 is here. Right, so this is my 63 here. And I'll now take my compass and measure 45 each, half of 90. I measure 45 each, which is half of 90. So let's measure 45. From 0 to 40 is 40. Then this is from 0 here. So this is 45 here. Can see that? And I'll place it at this center point here. Now mark left 45. Now mark another one what 45. So that line I am going to what? I'm going to tick in it. Is that the key now? So let's tick in that line from here to here. You can see that? I'm going to tick in it. So in doing that, the next thing is we are told that the angle at which this point to this point, this line, this line is inclined is what? 60 degree. So what I will simply do is to take my 60 degree set square. When it is standing this way, it is 60 degree, right? You can see that? So I will just move this to this point. You can see that? And I will close it up to... You can see that similarly i will just take my compass just measure from here to here right and i'll come to this point i'll measure from here to here so i'll just join those two points together you can see that then i'll close it up see so the next thing is if you look at uh, the plan here you see this line 
this line you're seeing here from this point A is also on this point here. So I'm going to draw my line from here. First of all, I'll thicken the base. Here is thickened, right? So the plan is telling me that it is thickened. Look at this line you're seeing here. And I have this also. I'll use faint line first. Right? Now, if you look at the plan here, from here to here is 25. So from this point to this point also will be what? 25. So I'm going to measure 25 from that point. From 0, 25. I see that? And I'm going to draw that line. I'll thicken it because the thickness from here to here is the thickness from here to here. So I'm going to thicken it. You can see that? And what I can see here is that I'll bring it down to this point here. Let me use faint line first and take this in this way All right so if you look at what i'm seeing here from this point i'm going to draw a line that will move from here straight down to this point All right and also from here straight down to this point so let me close it up too i'm using faint line so why i did that is because the baseline here we move you're taking the baseline this line here you're taking it straight down and you stop here right and for the top one here you're taking it and move it straight down to this point here then you just join these two together then I can easily um I'll easily from what I have here I'll just close it up just the baseline here right then I'll close it up too from this point as you can see in the diagram from this point which is that point there I'm going to move my line straight down to this point here and I'll close it up. Right. So what I'm having here, this also, I'll move this to this point, and I'll stop here. Right. Then from this, I'll move it down from here, and I'll stop here. Right. And this. With what I'm seeing here, that this line we're having here, you can see this line from here to here, this from here to here, and it is ticking, so I'm going to tick it. Also, ticking here too. And I'm also, ticking here too. Then, I'm also, ticking here too. See that? Then what else is remaining? I'll take in here too. And I'll take in here too. So we brought out the shape out as you can see. We brought out that shape out. Now the next thing we need to draw is this two points here. You can see that? So this hidden line you're seeing here is this line here. Telling me that it's hidden, looking from the top. So the next thing I want to draw is these two points here you see, right? And from this point here on the screen, which is um, from this point here on the screen, right? Which is this point here, I'm going to measure 25 in. So what I'll do is, I'll draw my line from here, faint line. Right, or better still, I come up from this point here, 
a draw a faint line and I'll measure 25 from that line so measuring 25 I'll place it at this point I'll measure 0 this is to 20 this is 25 here then I'll take my 45 degrees square. square right let's draw it out this way so at this point we have one there similarly another 60 we have 60 what 65 i'm going to measure 65 from this point which is this point here i'll measure 65 in to the help of this i'll measure 65 from zero here right and the zero here I'm here 65 this 65 here zero so what 65 I see that so I'm taking from this point here and I'll take it in also that's faint line now remember that I measured 90 here earlier I mean 45 half of this strip you have here so I'm going to that is a um, 63 from this point to somewhere around 63 where I measured the 90 the half of this figure here which is 63 I'll just draw my line this way right so where it meets with this is the center of the figure that's what that is the center of this figure you're seeing here and with what they wrote here two holes 20 millimeter that means left right and corner is 20 so i'll just take 10 millimeter for my meter rule i'll just measure 10 from 0 to 1 is 10 as you can see right 0 to 1 is 10 and i'll come to that point i'll mark 10 10 10 10 I'll come here also I'll mark 10 10 10 10 so I can easily close them up now so what I'll just do is take my meter rule draw an horizontal line here this way meter rule your set square must always be your t square if you want it to work effectively so I'll just draw this I'll come here also I'll draw this I'll come here also, I'll draw this, I'll come here also, those points I marked, I'll draw this, right, then I'll close them up, you see this way, this one point, I'm going to thicken it now, I'll thicken here too, come to the next one, is another point, I'll thicken it, come here too, I'll thicken it, then I can close it up now, this one here, Close it up. Right. Put from here also. You close it up. And you close it up too. Right. So, I think it gives us thickness. So, what you just do with this, you are seeing here, so that is a true. This thing goes down. So, I'll just close it up. And bring this down at this point. I'll come here to arrange this down. That's the, it, the reason of what that ticking line there. Is that ticking? Now, what you can see here, we have um, successfully reproduced out the shape that you can see at the right hand side of the screen, which is in third angle projection. We have brought it out in isometric projection. So if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Thanks for watching.